This is Dennis Daly with another report on the top stories of the day relating to the coronavirus pandemic. Reporters in Denver are asking how quickly legislation can move in the Colorado State Capitol if lawmakers want it to. The answer is fast enough for a seven-page bill to force hospitals to allow one visitor per patient, regardless of other restrictions, but then have it watered down into a two-page document. The House bill would have required hospitals to allow an admitted patient to designate one visitor. So if the end does come, they will not be dying alone. There are now more than 7.4 million cases of coronavirus worldwide, 420,000 deaths in the U.S., has passed the 2 million mark in confirmed cases. The number of positive cases in the Indian city of Mumbai surpassed those reported in the Chinese city of Wuhan. In the meantime, President Trump has invited people to a rally, but they all will have to sign a paper saying if they get sick, they can't blame Trump. Back tomorrow, I'm Dennis Daly. And remember to join us throughout the day for a wide variety of programming. We begin our broadcast day at midnight when we present the Broadcast Almanac. At 2 in the morning, you'll hear another item from The American Diary. Then the good works of a special honoree is presented at 5 a.m. on The Saint of the Day. Then at 7 a.m., we go back into the archives to hear what it sounded like eight years ago today. 11 a.m. brings another edition of Bob Whitmore's Almanac. Hear a special report on travel from one of 10 different correspondents on Travel Notes at 3 in the afternoon. Then Dennis Daly presents his interesting commentary on the passing scene on Nightcast at 9 p.m. And at 10 p.m., another coronavirus update. It's a full day of programming, weekdays, right here on the Srivikram Radio Network. Programs are distributed by Ursat Satellite.